Hi, party people. Hello, it is Randy, the Thunder Horse Descendant. We are here today because we are doing project number one. Project number one from the June 2020, 2022, 2022 bargain bead box. Uh, it is a leather wrap bracelet. We are going to be utilizing the Beetle on Tie Station. Super exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get going on this very first bracelet. If you've been following along with us, you know that we are doing bracelets with uh, June's bargain bead box. So um, I just want to let you know, <laughs> it's my disclaimer, this is how I'm going to make this bracelet. Uh, you don't have to make it this way. Uh, and if you don't, that's fine too. Uh, we would love to hear your uh, comments. If you do try something different or uh, if you do try it this way, we invite you to come over and share your photos on our Facebook group, Thunder Horse Descendant Facebook group, um, which can be found in the description of this video. And share your photos, your experience with us, uh, and what you've made with your bargain bead box. So um, we have a pretty good community over there. So we invite everyone to come and to share their photos and their beading. Um, other than that, <clears throat> excuse me, other than that, what else? Oh, um, we are a working active studio, so we have shipping going on from our stores, from our Thunder Horse Descendant Jewelry Store and our Thunder Horse Descendant Bead Store. I have pets, and it's real hot here in Minnesota, so... <laughs> You might hear some noises. It's fine. We're going to be fine. Uh, so let's get into some no rules beating. Let's get down to the mat. Get this party started. Here we are on the mat, party people. I'm just giving you kind of like a little overview of everything we're going to be working with today. And then we're going to zoom in and get going on it. So... <clears throat> First thing, we are going to use the beetle on tie station today. You don't have to have this, but it is helpful. Uh, if you don't have one, you could also use a clipboard. Um, we're going to be using Loctite Super Glue today. Um, Loctite Super Glue. We're going to be using some Ceylon or s -Lon would work. Let's see if I can't zoom in a smidgy. There we go. So I'm going to be using teal. Uh, I'm just using this because I think it's going to look nice with uh, the carnelian stones. So we're going to be using that. These are the carnelian bead strand that came along in the bargain bead box. So it's a 15 inch strand of 6 millimeter carnelian stone beads. So we're going to be using all of these today. Also, this little, the little Druzy pendant that came along with the box this month. We're going to be using that. <clears throat> right here I've got some size 6 seed beads in just clear. And we're going to need to get those going on our bracelet. So I got those. Now, I did add a button. So this is the button that I'm going to be using. This is a shank button. Let's see if my camera will focus. There we go. This is a shank button. It has like a little Thunderbird on it. Little Thunderbird, super cute. It is a shank button. Now you can use any kind of button that you wish. Oh, this button has some business on it. Hold on a second. I got her. I think I got her. Um, so you can use any kind of button that you like. And then in here I have some 1.5 millimeter leather. Okay. So I'm going to get everything kind of ready to go and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so most of this time we're going to spend in this video is just on setup because I want you to know how to set this up. Um, the beading is actually really repetitive and we'll probably fast forward through most of that or, you know, once we do a few stitches, we're going to skip into it. Um, so setup wise, first things first, I've cut my leather. I have four feet, four feet of 1.5 millimeter round leather. 
Now we are going to need an additional little smidge of leather, maybe like, oh, uh, maybe six to eight inches in addition to this, but that comes at the end. And then for the uh, sea lawn, I have cut four and a half feet. Okay, so here's the thing. Normally, I would be using um, some collapsible beetle on needles, but I used them in a project and I don't have any left. So, <laughs> if you have collapsible beetle on needles, you're one step ahead. If not, no worries. Uh, we're going to get those needles ready to go by just utilizing our super glue and making some needles on these, the end of these threads right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that so they have time to dry up while we're getting the rest of everything set up. So I'm going to take my Loctite super glue. Now, you could use any super glue for this. You know, it doesn't have to be Loctite, but you could use any super glue. And you get yourself a little piece of plastic, some packaging that you got or something. And you put a little super glue on the plastic. You're going to take the end of your thread and just lay it into the super glue. And you're going to twist with your finger as you're pulling it out of here. Okay? So you want to go a couple of times. And since we are going to be utilizing these to go through every single bead that we have, we might have to do this again to each side. We want to make sure they're nice and stiff. So once you got it going there, you're just going to lay this side off to the side so it doesn't stick to anything. We're going to go ahead and do the other side. I'm just going to go back in the same spot. I feel like Lily is barking upstairs. At what? Who knows? So I'm doing this side. And I am making these kind of long. Because normally my needles that I'm used to working with would be longer. And I want to make sure that I have enough space to be able to hold it and get through the beads or not. Okay, so we'll let that one dry up. We'll see how stiff they are. We might have to go again. I'm just gonna put this to the side. Oh no, I stuck my finger in there. Oh, I hate that. All right, so got that drying up. <sighs> got it on my finger. <laughs> okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this guy ready to go. So all I'm gonna do with this guy <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my wire cutter, my flush wire cutter, and I'm going to go ahead and snip off this ring right here. Okay. So I have just cut that off. Now I'm going to feel it. It feels a little sharp, but I got my file here, so I'm just going to give it a little bit of a file. And then if there's any, I know when I opened there was a little roughness. I'm going to just kind of go on the edge, not with this one. This one is a square. I need a flat one. Here we go. <laughs> this flat file. And I'm just going to go along the edge here and just so it's not so sharp. I'm just going to kind of give it a little once over. I'm just sticking to the edge. I don't want to mar it up or too much or anything. I mean, this will be on the back, but still. Just got to give it a little bit of uh, something there. So it's feeling pretty good. Go around the side there. All right. So once I got all the sharp edges off of this guy, he is ready to go. So now what we're going to do is we are going to set up our button. So we're going to start with the button. Okay. So I'm going to move this to the side so I don't knock anything over because you guys know I like to do that. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to get my shank button and I'm going to put, put him onto my leather, marry up the ends. Okay. 
So here we are, looks like this. And all I'm gonna do is an overhand knot. If you wanna do a snazzy knot, you go right on ahead. Just remember that this is going to have to move a little bit, about this much space. Let's see, see there? That much space should be able to move so I can get into the buttonhole, all that business. I'm just gonna do an overhand knot. You know I love an overhand knot. Just make it easy. Okay, so my button is ready to rock and roll. Got overhand knot on there. Okay, now we're gonna get our tie station. I might have to zoom out for this. Ooh, that's the wrong way. So we can see the whole works here. All right. <clears throat> So this is a beetle on tie station. If you don't have this, it's fine. You can use a clipboard. What I would do is if you were gonna use a clipboard, you just stick your, you're gonna utilize this part as your clip, right? And what I would do at the bottom of your clipboard is I would take like a file or maybe even a scissor and I would just make two little tiny indentions about an inch apart on the bottom of the clipboard. It is gonna mess up your clipboard, but you can stick your strings in there to hold it down, okay? So, here's what we're going to do. Easy peasy. I'm going to stick the button in here. my wing nut back on. There we go. So I got it pretty close up there because I do have, um, actually let me just check this. I want to make sure that I'm right up next to the knot when I start my stuff. No. I want to be, I want to, it's going to have to go, it's going to have to go right here, honestly. So, I'm going to put my, my button right next to the post, face down. Then I'll put this on. So that when I look at this, I should be able to see the knot. Now I'm going to have to tighten this up pretty tight because I don't want it to come flying out of there. But because this got that squishy stuff on it, it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt it, especially if your button's upside down. So I can see my knot coming out of there. Now I'm gonna go down to this side, and I'm just gonna put this into the plates. These two separate them like so. One on each side of the post. You don't want them to be super tight, but you also want them to be able to be pretty taut. I hate that word, <laughs> taut. So then I'm just gonna tighten those down. So there, we're pretty good. Alrighty. So this bad boy ready to go. So it's going to look funky up here. It's going to look like it's really close together. And then as it goes down, it's going to look separate. But that's not going to matter because we're going to start putting beads in there. Okay. So I'm going to zoom us in to the top here so we can see what we got going on. All right. Okay, so now let's take a look at our needles and see how we're doing. I think they'll work. Uh, if we have to go again, we have to go again. It is what it is. So what I'm gonna do right here, you can see, I'm going to cut that at an angle so it's sharp. So I'm just gonna 
cut it so it's sharp. We might have to cut them again. See, as you use these and you're using not needles, you're just using thread with super glue, it's going to start, as you start messing around with it, it's going to get um, softer. So you might have to re-glue your needles or you might have to give them a little cut to make them sharp again. It's fine. Alright, so this is basically our setup. We're going to then at start to attach um, your seal on thread to your leather. Okay, so in order to do that, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this underneath the leather. And this is pretty easy. We're going to tie a couple of square knots. But before we do that, I'm just going to tie a regular overhand knot at the top here right next to the knot I got going on just one I'm not going to double do it just one so now it's on there and I'm going to start my square knot now to start a square knot it's you got to make a four so you're going to start and you're going to make the number four so this is four it's a four right you're going to go over the top of the leather. You're going to go with your other tail. You're going to go over the top of the tail on your four. Okay, so over the top. And then you're going to bring this side under the leather and then up through the hole in the four. Okay, so this is how it should look when you're getting ready to pull it tight. You're going to see that I can't pull it up and I can't push it down because they're crisscrossed on top and the bottom of the leather. Okay, let's see if I can show you. See there? So then you're going to pull this up to the top. So that's half. That's one half of a square knot. Now we're going to do the same thing but backwards. So we're going to make our four over here. Bring that across the top. We're going to take the other side, make sure it's going over the top of the tail of our four, under the leather, and up through the hole of the four. Pull it tight. Now you have completed one square knot. Okay. We are going to do three square knots. So we're going to do it one more time or twi two more times. So we're going to make a four. I'm going to bring this one over the top of the tail, around the leather, and up through the hole of the four. And pull it tight. Now we do this side. Make the four over the top of the tail, under the leather, up through the hole of the four, and pull it tight. So now, so now we have two square knots. We're going to do three. So we go back to this side, make a four over the top of the leather, bring this one over the top of the tail of the four, under the leather, and up through the hole of the four. So now we're at two and a half. We gotta do the other side. We're gonna make a four over the top of the leather strands. Get this one over the top of the tail of the four, under the leather, and up through the hole of the four. And there we go. We have all of our square knots complete. And now we can start getting prepared to do stitching. So I am going to zoom in, see if I can go a little more. That's as far as I can go. Okay. So now right here, every stitch that we do, 
we're going to start the stitch like this. We're going to take your tail, bring it up through the leather, take the other tail in between the leather strands so that you can see, hopefully you can see, that they look like this. Okay, so you pull them up here, they're always coming from the bottom up through the middle strands of the leather, okay? So now that we have that, we are ready to put on our first bead. So we're going to put on first one of these little tiny six uh, size six seed beads. Now the reason we're doing this is because it's going to get taper that we need to transfer into doing the more um, the larger beads. So we're going to take this bead. We're going to put it on to our string like this. Okay. We're going to come with the other tail and we're going to go through that bead the opposite direction so you should have this okay so then when you pull each tail It's going to pull that bead right into the center of the leather. And it's going to separate your strands. So you want it to be kind of tight. So I'm going to do, hmm, let's do three, uh, three of these. We did three knots, we'll do three of these. So now every stitch we're going to bring our tail up through the middle of the leather strands and pull it back over to the same side it's coming from. Both sides, we're gonna go up through the middle of the leather, back towards the same side that it's coming from. And now we are prepared to start our next beat. So I start from the right. That's just my personal preference because I'm right-handed. So now we're gonna put on this bead do the same thing. One tail going one way, one tail going the other way, it will create an X. Okay. We're going to pull both tails until our bead starts to slide up where it's supposed to go. And as we pull it into position, it is going to lock itself right into where it needs to go. Easy peasy. So now we have two. We're going to set up for the last seed bead. So we're going to go through the leathers, pulling this to the same side it came from. Through the middle of the leathers, pulling this to the same side that it came from. Gonna pull it up there, prepared for the next bead. So this is our last seed bead we're gonna put on. So put that on there. Create the X and pull. So when you're putting your beads on, you want to make sure there isn't any foolery with your seal on on your leather. Like it's not loose, there isn't a big loop sticking out or anything, nothing like that, okay? So now we set up again and we're ready to start putting on the carnelian beads. So through the middle of the leather to the same side that it came from. Middle of the leather, same side that it came from. And we're ready to go with our first carnelian. Same situation, 
we are going to put that one on the strand grab the other side and we're going to go through the opposite way create the X so there's our there's our X and we're going to pull easy peasy so now here this one it is going to create a little bit let's see here I want to where's my my zoom is refusing to zoom <laughs> just wanted to kind of show this up closer without zooming so you can see it's gonna it's tapering out a little bit with those six millimeter beads and that's good that's what we want okay so that's what we got going on I'll do one more bead and then um, I'm going to fast forward uh, to where I got all the beads on because all we're gonna do is the same stitch over and over again till we're out of beads easy peasy so again set up for the next stitch go through the leather Put it to the same side, through the leather, put it to the same side that it came from, okay, and then put on carnelian bead. There is one side, and the other one go in the other direction, and we're going to pull. So there's our two beads on. Okay. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to do this all the way to the end of, uh, until I'm out of beads. I'm going to use all these beads. So just so you're aware, my plan for this bracelet is to make it a double wrap bracelet. So it should be able to fit around, the beads will fit around my wrist twice. At the end is where we're going to put on this attachment. Now I have done a bracelet like this in the past, but I had it in the middle. This one is not going to be in the middle. It's going to be on the end. So the idea is, is that we'll do all the wrapping, all the beading, and then we'll attach this at the end and then attach the button to the other side. So when this is sitting on the wrist, the button will kind of be uh, more towards the bottom over here, or maybe to the side, uh, depending on how big your wrist is. So that's the plan. So, I'll be right back. Hello, party people. There seems... Oh, I don't have my light on. I went to... I had to go stop and go eat some lunch. But anyway, uh, so this is where I'm at so far. The beating is going well. However... There seems to have been a disturbance in the force here. Look, I got one really long string and one really short string. So I'm going to have to add some string to this bracelet. Okay, party people, I have just put on my very last carnelian. Gotta get a little drink of coffee. And now, that's what she looks like. The whole bit. Oh, you can't see it because it's all whatever up there but yeah so I got all the carnelians on there and now I'm going to put on my three seed beads so I gotta I tapered my way in so I'm gonna taper my way out here by putting on the seed beads everything with this bracelet went fairly well I had the one little issue where I ran out of string, so at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna have to remember to put in there. Got to have more string, so you don't have to add it. But at the end here, I am gonna show you how I am gonna deal with that situation. Uh, but as you can see, I got all my beads on after I got my more string on there, so it's all fine and dandy. So here is bead number two.
kind of pulling those tighter as they are tapering in. And the last one. So there is three, three beads. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to get these out of the way here. And I'm going to go ahead and just tie a square knot. So I'm actually going to bring this around like I would be getting ready for another stitch just because I don't know, I feel like I should. Okay. And then I'm going to start a square knot. So again, square knot. Start, pull them all the way up here. Okay, so make four, bring this over the top of the tail of the four. And around, underneath the leather and up through the hole of the four. That is one square knot complete. Second square knot, make a four. Bring this down over the top of the tail of the four, underneath the leather and through the hole of the four. Okay half of the square knot. That is two. And three. Dunzo. Dunzo, dunzo, dunzo. Okay. <clears throat> so now to tie this off, let me see if I can zoom in more. To tie this off, what I'm going to do is I am going to get my tweezers out. I might not need the tweezer, but if you got one, why not? I'm going to create an overhand knot right here. I'm going to reach in with my tweezers through this loop and grab a hold right next to that leather. So then when I pull this, it's gonna be just like tying one of our knots on our knotting and push it down. So I'm gonna try to get it as tight, as close to the leather as possible and do the same thing on the other side. Now if you don't have a tweezer, you could also just go like this just push it in there but you want to make sure you get it as close as you can so once you got that I'm going to go ahead and cut okay. all right so this is what we have okay so I have to do some finishing on these items here get them straightened out but for right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit them with a little smidge of glue these little knots and we'll let those dry all right Ooh. zoom me out here Okay, so that's going to get dried up. I'm just going to take this off here. Okay, 
Now I can get this guy out of the way. And we are almost done. So now, let's see if this is dry. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Better let it dry completely because it has glue on it. And if I touch these other parts, I'm going to end up with pieces missing out of my leather. But here we go. So this is the little area here. I'll work on this a little bit while it's drying up. This is the area here that needs a little work since I had to add string to mine. So I'm just going to cut those off. I'm very happy with it. Okay, so we're not done. <sighs> so now, I will do the same thing down here. These have dried and I will burn them with the lighter. Since my zapper ain't working, I'll burn them with the lighter. So I'm just assessing the situation here. Oh, yeah. All right, so now with this guy, this is how I'm going to attach him. I'm basically going to use this as a link. Okay, so all I'm going to do, and now if you didn't want to add this, you don't have to. You could just tie some knots in here and have yourself a wrapped bracelet and have yourself a wonderful day. It's up to you. Uh, I'm going to use this as a link. I'm just going to put this in here. And... I'm going to tie an overhand knot. Okay. Easy peasy. So now, remember I said we're going to need another little smidge of leather. So, I'm going to get another smidge of leather. And what I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to go on this side, marry up these ends, and I'm going to tie another overhand link, or their overhand knot, I'm sorry. Now, I don't want to tie it super tight, but I also don't want it to be too loose because you don't want this rubbing too much and moving around too much, but you don't want it so tight that I can't move at all. So now, once I have that, I'm then going to tie buttonholes for this button. So in essence, I want this button to be able to fit through there. So I'm going to tie my knot right here. Now, right here is where you're going to get some sizing things. If you make this knot too loose, you could possibly make your uh, bracelet too big. So you kind of got to be careful for that. You want it to fit through there, but you don't want it to be like way back here so that you're giving yourself this much extra space on your bracelet. So there's one knot. I'm going to tie another one. About right there. Smashing. Hello, party people. I've been down here a while. I've drank off most of my lipstick, had to put my hair up. Whew. But I wanted to show you this just in case you're wondering. This little necklace that we made? Doubles as a necklace? What? What up? Super cute. But 
is actually a bracelet. I think I have to go with the second button. Come here, button. Come here, button. My fingers are like, no, Randy, we've done enough things for you today. <laughs> hmm. Like, no, we're done. Smashing. Smashing. I would use this one as a lock. So this extra one, you can either take it off or just put it over the top. Then you got yourself a little lock. So it's super cute. So you can do this way or this way. I quite enjoy it. I quite enjoy it. Hope you guys are enjoying it too. And uh, you might even add a few charms. You might even add a few charms. Anyways, I hope you're all having a wonderful, spectacular, amazing day. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.